Hope we don't get disqualified. Come on, green. Come on, green. All right, Dave. Nice and neat. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now, Season 2 2021 build is out on iRacing. And the day after the build, there's a patch update. What comes in the patch update? A new car, the McLaren 570S GT4. Now, if you follow the channel for a while, you will notice I don't drive GT4s very often because I don't really find them particularly exciting. But is the McLaren going to change all that? Well, we're going to find out in a tin top tussle race. Now, I thought I'll jump in this one. Nice, easy race. Get used to the McLaren. Strength of field, 5.3K. What's that about? So we have qualified though, P3 with a 131.11. And I'm using the iRacing sprint setup. And all I've done is stiffen the suspension all round. So 15 minutes around Hockenheim in the new McLaren. Is it the best GT4 car on iRacing? Well, we'll know in about 15 minutes. P3, the track temp is 34 Celsius. So, this is gonna be a tricky one. Follow car number eight in the left lane. I like the car. First impressions or initial impressions, good. I like it. Will I like it in about one minute's time? Well, who knows? It depends if I survive. Week 13 after all. Don't get disqualified. Come on, green. Come on, green. All right, Dave. Nice and neat. Yeah. Green, green, green. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. So it's unofficial. So we can take liberties a bit with the uh, off tracks. Not going to affect our safety rating. But again, if we finish where we are now on a strength of field race like this, okay, we're not going to get any high racing either, places. fortunately. What a tricky turn this one is. Somebody's shooting off into the pits, I think. Thought it was gonna get I thought we were gonna get dive bomb there. That was <laughs> My eye was okay, Dave. caught by something. Marks. This is looking good, P2. Oh, he's, he's gonna send it here. be a bit better through this section. Oh, come on, David.
They're definitely holding him up. Just done it one thirty point four. I think Leon's just toying with me. Figure that out. Just can't work out that turn at all. Just need practice. And get it round there. <laughs> oh dear. There he comes. All right. He's still there. Clear right. You got ten minutes left. We're going to bring Will into this now. while going in there. That's a new fastest lap for Lynch on 30.2. So how many laps have we done? Well, six and a half minutes into a 15 minute race. Good fun car this though. I must say, it's much more exciting than the Porsche Cayman or the M4 BMW. Come on, Leon. If you're going to do it, get it done, sunshine. 
Don't, don't torture me anymore. All right, Dave. Halfway home. Fuel's good. Fastest lap. Only a madman would overtake into here. Thankfully, it doesn't suffer from that uh, lift-off oversteer that the uh, GT3 McLaren has. It's a bit more stable, thankfully. Defend your position. That was a 131.6. Sector 3 is 0.6. Off the pace. He's going to run now. Right side. Still there. He's still there. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. there. Just gives a little love tap. That's all right. Five minutes to go. This is good. We'll be on the podium if we can keep it together. I'll take a podium. Put the flag out now. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Times are dropping off. Come on, stay focused. That so we're going to be 10 laps, do we think? Oh, a little bit of a moment behind there. Too late. On your right. Clear right. Car left. Clear left. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. Oh, <laughs> we don't want Will to get involved. Interesting to see if it just clears off now, though. We need that podium, though. P3. I 
I don't think I've done one clean lap. Oh, I have done one clean lap at 31.39. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Oh, don't stop blinking, Leon. Okay, Dave, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Your lap time was at 131.7. Will's pushing now. I was trying to get a clean lap in. We might have to take some tactical off tracks to stay in front. Fun, good fun. Great drive, that's a podium. Leon was just toying with us there, wasn't he? But still, 10 laps. Really, really good fun. Best GT4 car, potentially. Let's have a look at the incidents. Okay then, let's have a look at the carnage. There wasn't any in front of us, so I'm guessing it all happened behind. A few people didn't qualify for whatever reason. Oh. <laughs> Take that. Dear. I've actually just had a thought. Does the McLaren have the new damage model? I'm guessing it does because um, the Porsche and BMW do. They do the wheels off, and there's a wheel rolling. He's lost a wing mirror. Yeah, that's testing the new damage model there, isn't it? Crikey, that about.
God almighty. That's week 13 for you. That about, jeez. Week, week 13, it's just chaos. Is he going into the pit of doom? Because there's somewhere on there span out earlier on, it just teleports you into nowhere or back to the pits. Boom. One used McLaren. And that's it. Oh, a bit of a standoff. Oh, the Porsche's chickening out. Oh, he's getting a bit aggressive. Or are they mating? There we go, that's it. Right, let's have a look at the results. Right, let's have a look at the results then. So how many splits were there? There were six splits. This was top split, strength of field, 5,327. So Damien got the win. Leon, P2. We got P3. Fastest lap, 31.39. Blimey, miles off these guys. Some of these are super quick. Uh, so there's no I rating to speak of, but this was the who's who of, of I racing. Some really, really strong guys in here that were obviously just in it for a bit of fun. But I don't care. I got a podium. So there we go. P3. Quite a fun race that one. I think Leon was toying with us for most of that race. I'm sure he could have got by at any point. But still, P3. I'll take that. A lot of guys crashed out. As you saw, they were mucking around. It's week 13. But I'll take that. I wanted to get a flavour of what the McLaren was like. Um, and what do I think of it? Well, it's my favourite GT4 car on iRacing. There's no question it's got the, the sharp, pointy front end that the McLaren GT3 has. It slides a bit like the Porsche Cayman. It moves around. Um, it's good fun. I'm not really a fan of how it looks. I'm sure the real car looks impressive and beautiful. But I'm not really sure I'm sold on how it looks. But for the driving experience, it's my favourite GT4 on iRacing. And this has made me want to drive GT4s a whole lot more so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you've bought the mclaren what do you think of it is it going to be your gt4 of choice and if you want to see more then you can click subscribe and all the rest of it over here will be some of my previous videos and all that kind of stuff anyway thanks for watching see you later cheers